Your first steps into the exiled lands are sometimes the most important. Stumbling onto a decayed or raided base can give you enough scraps to jumpstart your run, but your biggest goal is always information. Solo players live and die by how much they know. Where people live, who the aggressors are, and just as importantly where people don't live, giving you a place to hide and making it easier to scout new arrivals. Missing even a single clue can flavor your entire run, and catching as much as you can will give you the smallest chance of success. Don't miss a thing. Any experienced player will tell you. Knowledge is power. Last episode, we left our peaceful home and traveled to the Exiled Lands. At the time of this playthrough, the two living American servers both had speed hackers on them. Don't be too surprised, it is Conan after all. So I figured this would be the time to try a European server. With Conan though, choosing between 700 ping, terrible raid windows, and speed hackers is pretty common. And for those of you wondering how bad the lag got... Wait, what? What? <laughs> Wait! On what planet was I just being hit? Oh. Well, I guess if that's what the survey says I am, uh... I'll just fucking die then. We gotta hustle, boys. We gotta hustle. I don't know why this feels so nerve-wracking. I don't even have juice in my pockets. I failed to collect the two things that I set out for on the last server. I've, I've just got star metal, but you know, it's it's whatever. I, I have a right to be nervous. I've got stuff in my pockets. Oh, you know what? That's not true. I've got five Eldarian. Pretty, pretty big. Pretty, pretty big start. All right. Everything's safe. It's enclosed, at least. Run down the, the new server checklist. Step one, hit 60, check. Hit star metal, check. You know what that means? Time to get naked. You know, this is this is gonna be nice. I get asked a lot about how I start my wipes. And we can uh we can actually go right through it. I think I'm gonna do this like episodic when it comes time to, to edit it. But uh it's it hit 60, get star metal, and then uh get naked. More specifically, uh go get your obelisk and scout. Another thing to check, like day one, is just check the uh the religious event log that way you know who's through throwing gods who's maintaining bubbles it just shows you who the, the the big movers and shakers on the servers are at a glance anyways you know checking bases that have tier three altars and looking at the religious tab tells you 90 percent of what you need to know and this server has a, a couple people throwing hands looks like it might be juicy might be nice just for those of you that don't play Conan, obelisks are these strange stone structures that are scattered around the world map. Once you click them, they're activated, and you can teleport to them with the use of a map room, so they're crucial for fast travel. It's, uh, it's, it's not as, I'll admit, it's not as glamorous as, uh, you know, going to the sinkhole and fighting people for kits, but this is, this is more productive. Conan's one of those weird games where it's infinitely faster to just farm your way to the end game. If, if you're on task, you can hit the end game and be raiding by the end of day two. I mean, you could raid on day one, but I mean, actual raids, day two. I don't know if I'm going to be raiding that quick, though. I, uh, you know how when you say a word a bunch of times, it just, it starts to sound like nonsense? That's kind of what Conan feels like right now. So like visually, I, I recognize it all, but it just, it doesn't register as, as meaningful stimuli. I'm just confused... I'm like an old man at the supermarket. Too many colors. I don't know what I'm looking at. This place has been pit clean. There's not even any poop in the poop box. Oh, it's a feed box. That makes sense. Uh, mo most of the benches aren't upgraded, but pretend they are for a second. You know, this would be a good example of what I'm talking about. Like when you find a decayed base and there's exposed benches, you can use those benches to craft stuff. A lot of people overlook that. So if you have a fully upgraded bench, you can build all your stuff for free. You could, or not free, but you can get it cheap. Live like a hobo out of somebody's base for a while. Obviously stash your stuff somewhere else, but you know, the point, it's got value even if it's empty. Hmm. This base looks like it's seen better days, huh? R.I.P. 
So you can you can tell this is a European server. I never see anybody in North America do their anti climb like this with with the uh, the hash frames. I'm assuming the wisdom here is that you can't place bombs on them as easily, so you can't just bomb your way up like a staircase. You've got to use arrows. I I tend to prefer the ceiling tiles though, with uh with, like caps on top. It just just makes me feel beefier. I think it I think it blocks damage from trebuchets a little better. That's just me though. Maybe, maybe, maybe truthfully, this is the better way. Who's to say? But uh, I bet you we can we can find a way in here somewhere. There we go. <laughs> it was definitely raided, and I knew they didn't repair it. Where's the loot? I need loot. Please, I'm dying. Aha. Uh -huh. Careful, careful. There we go. All right, see, there's an upgraded fireball cauldron. That's what I was talking about earlier. So, like, if I wanted to make dragon powder, I'd come back here and use that. I could get my dragon powder for half off. Easy. Along with uh, these other benches and whatnot. M mostly is dragon powder. That's what's important. Cry in shame, though. This base got demolished. Rest in peace, indeed. Nah, this place is... This place was cleaned out a long time ago. The fuck is going on here? Is that just land claim? Okay, it's probably just land claim. Hey guys, uh, I don't know how surprised any of you guys are, but it looks like the keyhole is claimed. <laughs> and they're online. Let's uh, let's scoot. We've got a lot of scouting to do. I don't want to get run down just yet. Admirals. They had a raid bunker outside that uh, that RIP base, too. And they were on the religious log. I, I got a feeling... I got a feeling they're probably going to be target number one once I uh, get my shit together. Ugh. Oh, what did I tell you? The decayed base juice! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Uh, come on, there's, there's gotta be... Yeah! Uh, pfft, I need oil. That's actual loot. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That unironically makes me incredibly happy. <laughs> Look at all these grubs. I'm gonna be eating like a king. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom. Hmm. There seems to be a dispute afoot. I gotta be honest with you guys, these these grubs have got me in a great mood. <laughs> I can't be the only one who subsists off these in this game. A anyone who kills me, they're never gonna find actual food on my hotbar. I just, I, I harvest the grubs. That's all you need. Grub on the inside, grub on the outside. You are what you eat. Our first actual base, Samazingo. It, it looks like it's abandoned though. That's a, that's a low decay timer. Exposed map room, that's what we're talking about. Big gains. Big travel gains. Admirals again? These are, these are definitely the server's resident no-lifers. And you can tell they're pussies too, because they cover all their map rooms. I hate that shit. What are you afraid of? It's like the eighth covered map room I've found so far. What the fuck's going on in this server? Oh, this look this looks toxic. <laughs> the frame rate drop immediately upon looking at it. Let's uh let's take a closer look while we got nothing to lose. Admiral, of course. I mean it checks out. This is the, the type of base I would expect. Permanent bubble, no doubt. I checked the religious log. You guys have they've had their bubble up for like a month. So these are these are definitely the server's no lifers. I guess we'll, we'll poke around and see if we can get in, and if not, we'll we'll come back to this. Yeah, no obvious holes. We'll, we'll we'll come back to that. Mark it on the map. We'll make a return. Okay, the moment of truth. Last time we ran to the ice barrier chasm, we barely made it before dying. So let, let's see if we can make it this time. Fingers crossed. Like I got a lot of grubs. I don't want to lose these. The fuck? Did, did they did they change the, how how temperature works? I, I'm always extremely cold in here before. That is incredibly weird. 
I, I don't have... I don't, I'm not even sure I have three vitality perks. I think I'm just running naked. Huh. Do I even need to check this? Big fat closed map room in front of the obelisk. Yeah, b big surprise. It's admirals again. What a bunch of absolute pussies. Not only do they close their map rooms, but they claimed all the base locations around them. I, I, I don't understand how why clans play this way. The servers only hold 40 people max. And then you got people that roll on a server with 10 people. Claim base locations, cover their map rooms, absolute sweat gods. When, when the next largest clan has like three people on it. It's at some point you gotta... If that's what it takes for you to, to dominate a server, then you're just not that good. I hate to be the guy that says it. But if you need a full clan of 10 sweat lords, you need 25% of the active players on a server to be in your clan. You need a huge... Come on. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, wait! My grubs! <laughs> no! Wait! Oh, I forgot I had those! I, uh... I wanted to uh, get back to the desert, so I pulled my bracelet, and uh, they're all gone. Can we, uh, can we get a moment of silence for those grubs, please? Just a moment of respect. <laughs> While we examine this, this beautiful roleplay structure, collect our thoughts, and uh, cope with that loss. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not even memeing. That was, uh, that was a pretty devastating loss. <laughs> That's going to keep me up tonight. I ripped my bracelet, tossed away all my grubs, and I forgot this obelisk. It... Oh, oh, what are the odds? Oh, I don't think he saw me. What, what am I even nervous for? It's not like I even have any. I've got four berries. Is he really? Are we really doing this? We're going to turn around for the naked with three berries. Okay. <laughs> the people that play this game, dude. He's even ignoring the squad of peace. That's unbelievable. <laughs> He's gonna try it. Oh, the attack missed! <laughs> what, what is up with the people that play this game, dude? Alright, come on, let's go. Oh, that's Almost. a miss! <laughs> He's never gonna hit me on horse. Not with a one-handed maze. I wonder if I can give him, like, Frostbite from the Frost Giant, if I can lure him into it. I could probably kill him up here. Get a kit. Get on my way. A decent hit. I got him. <laughs> what a guy. The chance battle continues. Uh, 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 almost. <laughs> He's so thirsty. He brought in a friend. Oh, he's got a thrall too. I love that. Get over here! There's a naked by the obelisk. Do, do, should I should I bring a thrall? Should I bring a thrall? He says he's naked. What are you deaf? Bring a thrall. Bring a horse. Uh, call the navy. <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh! What are you gonna do about it? Oh, with the daggers too. Can't even come at me with a real weapon. He's gotta fucking cheese it. Oh, toxic! Uh, Almost. Almost. Oh, we're still in this. We're still in this. Let's go. Come on, Frost Giant. Don't let me down. Ah, uh, too cheeky. Let's go. Uh, not even close. It's not very effective. Uh. Come on. C couple more left clicks. Let's go. <laughs> Touch up, oh, yeah, I got him to hit his teammate. If those are poisoned, I wonder if. It, well, no, they're not, because I would be dead. But you know, what's the plan here, guys? We got two guys: a thrall, a frost giant, and a horse. Versus a naked man with three berries. Is this how we all need to be spending our evening? Is this really productive? <laughs> they're terrible. How long does it kill Whoa, a naked? Ooh, one oh, that really should have. That really should have counted. That really should have counted. My high ping coming in to save the day. <laughs> What's the deal here? 
The tense battle continues. He's stabbing until he's out of stamina. That's how thirsty these guys are. Running each other over to get the naked... Is my loincloth that alluring for you? Is it my musky scent? My aroma? Oh, he pulled out the sword. Oh, I almost rolled into that one. I'm really not good enough at PvP for this to be so hard. I, I knew that hit didn't hit me. Look at that. He's swinging from the other side of the horse. He's swinging on the right side of the horse. I'm on the left side. Man, whatever, man. <laughs> this game. Oh, finally. Was that three minutes? Jesus. It's a shameful display. Well, we know who we're going after first, anyhow. You'd better not take my loincloth. Imagine. Just imagine. Let's get back to scouting. We got, we got shit to do. <laughs> we gotta stay busy. We would actually never get that revenge. Unsurprisingly, these aggressive players made more enemies than just myself that day. And by the time I found their base, it had already been raided. In fact, I never saw them log in again after this small encounter. Oh my god, I could kiss whoever built this. This is like my favorite spot for an early game map room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a bedroll down and I'm gonna use this for the rest of the wipe. <laughs> I can cry, this is beautiful. Whoever this is, I appreciate you. If you're watching this, I appreciate you. What? Don't see that every day. That is an interestingly constructed base, to say the least. Get off me. Who dares build in my spot? The hubris, the nerve of these people. Now, but for real though, I mean, the strength of this location is that if somebody climbs the ridge and looks over, they can't see you if you build in the groove. But if you build a gigantic sandstone structure up here, I, I, I saw you before I even started climbing, my dude. If you're watching this, just, you know, hot tips. Uh, if you take a stealthy location and build a gigantic cube on top of it, it doesn't work as well. How much you want to bet I could reach that elevator? Let's just let's just take a peek around the back here. This just this just seems too goofy to be straight. I'm not even gonna just look at one one section. Aha! What is going on up here? It's like a whole palace up here. When you've been building up here so long, you, you know where all the good rest spots for getting your stamina back are. You learn how to spot them. Little, little cracks. Why does it feel like the first 75% of your stamina takes you like one half of the way? And then the last little bit takes... It takes the rest of it! Ah, oh, it's gonna be close! Ah, uh, not even close. Easy. Easy game. There's nothing up here. Ah. Uh, it's all probably in that lower section. I'm sure he's working on this. This is, this is a... This is going to be a, a bit of a goober base, though. I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. You don't have the defenses of a proper stacked base. And you don't have the stealth of a proper stealth base. This is... Like, if you're watching this, I would I would rethink this design. Oh, I think I, I can get in there. Oh, yeah. Easy. It might not be too late. There might still yet be loot for us, boys. Talking juicy. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Just gotta swoosh right in. Kind of finesse it. And it's empty, of course. <laughs> of course. And no scouting trip is complete without a trip to the top of the volcano, huh? Oh, what's that? You you don't scout the volcano on day one? <laughs> okay, <laughs> noob. <laughs> No, nah, but for real though, we're, we're not building a real base until we know where everybody lives. Hey, hey. <laughs> Somebody's at the anthill. This is my old spot. Kind of a weird spot for a vault though, isn't it? <gasps> oh, oh, we gotta get to the top now. This place has gotta be loaded with juice. That is a good sign. If that's what's in the ground vault, 
I don't even know what to pop first. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Ouch, it's, it's gonna be a bitch to get that back. Oh, it's loaded! The base is loaded! This is exactly why we scout so thoroughly on day one, guys. This is it. Okay, not, not as impressive as the other vault. Not gonna lie. Not gonna complain. Just objectively speaking, not as impressive. You guys ever find so much loot, you gotta build your own alchemy table so you can respec at the top of the volcano? That's the situation I'm in right now. I had ulterior motives for scouting the volcano so early, of course. In the southern jungle, nearly every metal location was either still open, lightly claimed, or built inside but already raided, meaning I could pretty comfortably set up a temporary home there to farm and craft out of. But all of the major players I had found lived inside pillar bases, meaning if I wanted to raid them, I'd either need good trebuchet locations or a few Jebelsog coins. And Jebelsog favor rots over time. Rather than leave it where it could be stolen as I farmed it up over time, I had already picked out an excellent stash location at the top of the volcano where I could leave my favor overnight while I felt out the server politics. Overall, it was an incredibly successful day of recon and looting, the kind of day that would normally set you up for success. But the world of Conan the Barbarian is a cruel one, and our struggle had only just begun.